Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Unsung Hero. This week's hero is going to be bullcrap. I'm going to do it because his name sounds very similar to bullcrap and I find that funny. Two star, two star, hi hi, that's not ideal. Stats don't look very good for a striker. Also as power header, which is a very useless in this game. Patrick Schick next to him. I subbed him all in one game and he scored a second half hat trick, which uh, led me to a win, which was uh, pretty damn nice. I was, wasn't dominating in that game. Also, Jan Kopic, a guy who was featured in an earlier episode of Unsung Hero, makes a return. This is the rest of my team. Let's play some games. My first opponent, pretty nice looking team, couple of icons, a very good team, a very classic team that you see a lot. He made the mistake in the first minutes of the game. Marquinhos tried to play out from the back, but the Chic is there and he's got not gonna miss a chance like this. On that left foot of his, he's deadly. So after three minutes, we're already 1-0 up. That's a pretty damn good start of the game. Uh, and, and then things don't really go right for me. Great pass and, and great goal by Pele. Not the Brazilian Pele, but the other one. I just keep on playing football. The combination between Schick and Pulkrab is great. Schick sends out Pulkrab and that's a goal. 2-1 up. Plays the flute. So uh, pretty damn good. I take the ball away from Messi with Schultz. Messi takes the ball away again. Then he goes to cut inside and this is a penalty. I think it's a very weak penalty to give. Because Schule doesn't really do much. Uh, he's not going to take it with Roberto Carlos. He's going to take it with Lionel Messi. Which, I mean, doesn't really matter to me. Because I'm very bad at saving penalties. So uh, if he just does normal stuff, he will make it. Just right through the middle. Bit of a Panenka. Makes it 2-2. So we go into the second half. I subbed on Riyad Mahrez. Gives the ball to Patrick Schick. Reaches the back line. Finds Pulkrab. Perfect striker goal. 2-3 up. Great stuff from the boys, that 85th minute plays it out very, very well. I was 100% sure this was offside by Xavi, but then I looked at it again and this is 100% not offside. A very bad defending for me. Gets even worse. Messi puts through uh, Osimen, who makes it 4-3, so we end up losing the game that we were leading until the 85th minute. So very bad, but not from Schick and Pulkrup, who were uh, very good. Pulkrup scored two goals. Schick was basically a man of the match like I see with a goal and two assists but let's get into the second game second opponent pretty much the same defense and not very uh, not a very special team but the combination between Pulkrab and Chick still shows Pulkrab reaches the back line finds a strike partner in Chick and that's one uh, one nil for us pretty good start then a uh, very boring game I try to play out from the back in the second half goes horribly wrong like it does every year. I don't know why I keep trying it. Ronaldo gets the ball. I block it perfectly with Kempf. Ball still goes in. I like it. Yeah, that's the only reaction I can have. But just a bit after that, Patrick Schick, Kimpembe, bye bye. And he makes it 2 1. Patrick Schick on that left foot is completely deadly. Bit later, counter attack from him after a corner kick. Ronaldo goes through on goal. I have to take him out. I have to take him out. You picked the wrong house, fool! Yes, you definitely picked the wrong house and I only get a yellow card for it. I don't understand these refs. How is that a yellow card? But that makes that we win the game. Crazy as it is, that should have always been a red card. And then I probably would have struggled to last a few minutes of the game. Patrick Schick, two goals. Pulkrab got an assist. So should you put Pulkrab in your team? No, but definitely put Patrick Schick in your team. He's very fun. As you can see, I only got two shots on goal. So I stole this victory, but that also means that my strikers are very, very deadly, which also means something. Uh, so yes, Pulkrab wasn't really uh, that good. He was it's very slow, but he was good at holding up the play and, and passing to Patrick Schick, which is uh, always a good thing. But that's going to be all for this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.